बिस्मिल्लाम वेलकम टू माई चैनल लर्न मैथ विथ सैयद अली सो टूडे वी विल बी लर्निंग क्यूब रूट सो क्यूब रूट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड लाइक दिस वैन वी पुट थ्री हियर दैट मीन्स वी आर टेकिंग क्यूब रूट राइट सो एनी पावर इन एक्सपोनेंट इफ इट इज लाइक एट टू द पावर वन ओवर थ्री दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू टेक क्यूब रूट ऑफ दिस एट so we learned before that this is a square root and a square root is like 2 power right so but we don't put this 2 because we take it granted that okay if it is radical sign it's a square root because if it is not 2 then we have to mention this number here if we have to if we want to take the power like 10 24 to the power 1 over 5 right and so that means we want to take fifth root of 1024 right so that means if we have this power here in fraction we have to put that here as a radical sign right on the on the on the curve of the radical which tells us that which root we have to take today we also learned this thing the cube root on the calculator so this is starts the cube root starts in like grade 11 but we have learnt it in the in the previous grades as well so today i will be showing you this calculator uh, you can have any calculator um uh, here you can see this button which is a red sign on the top of this and this red sign is so if you can see here i can write it here for for your convenience so this is this is my red sign right and red sign means we have to press the shift button first and then we can use this button how for example i have to take the cube root of let's say cube root of 81 or cube root of 8 for simplicity so that means cube root of 8 means here is 3 that is indicating me that i have to take cube root of what 8 right so what i will press i will shift and this so you can see now the sign is that you are taking you are going to take cube root of certain number which number 8 when you put this and equals 2 then you have 2 so that means your answer is 2 let's take another example we are going to take cube root of 27 right what we have to do you have to press okay clear it we have to press shift then this sign that means we are going to take cube root of what 27 3 right very good so you learn how to take the cube root on the calculator if mostly it is in the second function or we have to press the shift shift means second function second function is all those functions which are red on top of the black buttons you can see so many so now we are learning today this cube root which is right here right this black button is the square root if you want to take a square root for example 64 is square root so what you do you do this now you are going to take a square root we don't mention 2 there it is a square root and we substitute the value what is my value sorry so square root what is my value 64 so equal sign 8 we are right so we can use we are now using this this we were using like in grade 8 9 9 10 now we are using cube root right so hope you understand how to use the cube root button on the calculator and what does it mean now we will understand what does it mean right so cube root means that we have to break that number we and multiply it by 3 times right and we have to pair it up in 3 in a square root we pair it up in 2 now we will pair it up in 3 that is, that is this right 3 times 3 times 3 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 but because of this 3 i have to group it in 3 so my answer is 3 right for 8 i have to break 8 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 but here i have 3 so that means i have to group it in 3 so my answer is 2 but we also know now what does it mean and we also know how to use the calculator button right 
so that is under the shift right and the red button right this this button we did it on the calculator first you please press the shift then this sign then put the number it automatically gives you cube root and cube root means that you break the number and pair it up as three right that's three three is a nine nine three is a 27 so we call three and then two times two times two is like this or we can say four times four times four so cube root is four right what is that number 64 cube root so we break 64 four times four times four is 64 and then we group by three so my answer is this or five times five times five right 125 so we break it like five times five times five and my answer is five i grouped it by five so in this way but now it is easy now you don't want to make this factor uh, if because you have the calculator and for a calculator you can directly get this value right so you have that button i will repeat you will get that button right this button right here or on top of the square root is a cube root right so you can take cube root of any number whatever it is given now we will solve this question which is given here 1 over 8 1 over 3 1 over 3 means cube root right so that means i can write it like this right cube root of 8 i can take cube root of 8 by calculator or i can do it by the method because now i know what does it mean so now this is also cube root on top is 27 and 27 means 3 times 3 times 3 you know and 125 means 5 times 5 times 5 and what you have to take is cube root right plus 4 times 8 to the power minus 2 by 3 means that this power will go into the denominator to have the positive power right we did it in in grade 8 maybe or 9 right that exponent negative exponent we can convert negative exponent to the positive exponent if we bring it from the numerator to the denominator so now my power is positive so now i don't have to worry now we will learn something more okay so this thing you know that this is the cube root of 8 which is 1 over 2 we learn by the calculator as well and we learn by here as well right under root 8 right here so 1 over 2 minus cube root of 27 is 3 and cube root of 125 is 5 you can do by calculator or you can do by breaking it into the numbers now 1 over 8 to the power 2 by 3 how does power work for the exponent we did in our previous classes that if there is a power for example if this is a power right to 8 to the power 2 over 3 so this numerator is telling us that it is the exponent of 8 this is telling us this and this 1 over 3 is telling us that it is in the denominator and the denominator is the radical right the cube root whatever number is here if it is 3 it is a cube root if it is 4 it is a fourth root fifth root five fifth root sixth root seventh root whatever number is so here we are only practicing cube root so 8 is square cube root so i have to calculate if i calculate 8 is square cube root that means i am calculating this so whenever for example if you have 5 to the power 3 over 4 what does it mean it means this this numerator is the power of 5 but this 4 is here right so always break the exponent in fractions like this you have to break the exponent if the exponent is in fraction the numerator shows the power of the base and the denominator shows the how may which root you have to take cube root fourth root fifth root sixth root whatever we will also learn after this cube root exercise the other numbers like fourth fifth root seventh root eighth root whatever number it is so now here i have 
8 square means 64 and the, I have to take cube root. So we learned that we can do it by calculator as well or we can say that 4 times 4 times 4. So we know the basis, we have to group it and my answer is 4. So that means this thing is 4 but in the denominator. So 4 times 1 over 4, 4, 4 cancels. So I have 1, so I have 1 over 2 minus 3 over 5 plus 1. Right, and now I have to take like LCM. If I have my LCM is 10, 2 5 is the 10, 5 5 this, 5 to the 10. Like this is basic math which you have done in grade 6 maybe. So 5 to the 10, 2 3 to the 6 plus 1 is 10. And if you add all these numbers, 10 plus 5 is 15, minus 9 is minus 6 is 9 divided by 10. So 9 over 10 is our answer. You can also put, when you are practicing with the calculator, you can all, always put all the values in the calculator simultaneously and you will get this same answer, 9 over 10, right? So this is all equal, right? So this is how we solve this exponent, um, which was based on the cube root. And we learned that how to calculate the cube root in the calculator. So I will revise one more time this shift. This is under root or square root. So we do not put the number here. It is understandable that it is a square root. For example, 144 square root. Sorry, a square root of 144 so it equals to 12. So this black button is a square root, right? But this red on top is cube root. So for cube root, you have to press shift and then this function. So it's saying that now you are take, going to take the cube root of certain number. Whatever number you put, it will give you the cube root. For example, 27, it gives you 3, right? Now I'll put shift, cube root. So it's indicating that I'm going to take cube root of 64 equals to 4. So hope you learn how to take the cube root by calculator and what does it means in mathematics right so we have to break the number and make it pair by three right so we, our answer is four so hope you like the video if you like it press the bell icon button subscribe my channel thumbs up share my channel with your friends and family friends maybe they are looking for somebody who can explain um, grade 11 12 um, or any questions in mathematics so learn math with Sayyid Ali. Thank you for watching.